Hello, hello, everybody. Welcome, welcome. I am just sitting here and kind of chilling, waiting for Rai. Oh, I, I should probably get my DPS suit on. Preferably without the ether burner. <laughs> I hope everyone has had a wonderful day today. That was wrong mode. Let's get this right. There we go. <coughs> Been spending most of the day just kind of chilling, getting some banking done, and then playing more FF because that's what I do. Though right now, raid-wise, I'm in a kind of an interesting and awkward position. Uh, generally, I have been doing tidy party finder raids at night, late night. <laughs> late night California time, which means the entire rest of the uh, continent's gone to sleep. And for the past week, it has been really, really difficult to find parties for um, Pandemonium 5 and Pandemonium 6 Savage. And it's only gotten worse. Uh, my current working theory is because the new data center came online Tuesday, a bunch of people are jumping ship using free transfers to get over to the new data center in the hopes of getting housing. And I can't exactly blame them for that. If it wasn't for the fact that I'm desperately holding on to my little sweet shop with every tooth and claw that I have, I can't exactly blame them for wanting to jump ship to a new server in hopes of actually getting something. But this has effectively left Party Finder, especially for earlier content in the raid tier, non-existent, especially late night. So, I'm currently the waffling because I feel like I need a lot more practice in Pandemonium 6 than I'm getting. Now, I have gotten the clear. Um, bless the hearts to a bunch of hardcore raiders who saw my party finder last night and jumped in to help me get the clear even though it meant no chests. Which is an unfortunate matter. But I am very thankful that they did that, and I hate to say it, I felt carried. And I do not like being carried. I do not blame them. They were really good at what they were doing, and the healers were on the ball picking my uh, Gyoto's sorry tail up off the floor. Which he did die a couple of times, uh, usually because he had the right idea. I had the right idea of mechanics. I just couldn't do them quite fast enough for what they wanted and kept getting clipped. And there was one instance where um, I got into effectively what's referred to as a death cycle, where I'd go down, I'd come up. My invulnerability would go off, but before I could react to try and gain my own health and before the healers could react, I'd get smacked by another mechanic and instantly go down again. Um, <laughs> my deaths were my own fault, I admit this, but I, I really need practice in there and it's impossible to find practice groups at the moment. Uh, tonight, I'm thinking about going ahead and trying to see if I can get a fresh prog on Pandemonium 7, which would be the yokai tree. Knock on wood. <laughs> yeah, I'm not looking forward to that. But it's left me in this interesting quandary of if this is going to be late night raiding and I can't find groups, would it be better now to stop trying to prog Gyoto and just log straight into the Japanese server where I have a max level alt there mm. that's geared and ready to go and start progging there instead. 
but at the same time, that would leave a dear friend of mine who's on this server alone at night, which I don't necessarily yeah. want to do. But waiting two to three hours in Party Finder to find a group in oh, nine times out yeah. of ten ending up with nothing is pretty disheartening. Especially since nine, a lot of times, except for the carry last night, which we did on the first pull, mind you. <laughs> my, my. Uh, I'm usually waiting for others to learn the mechanics. Yep. Nothing wrong with people learning. I have no problems with that. It's just, it's frustrating that I'm at this stage and I can't get past it. But these people who are obviously having more problems than I move up and no one comes down to help. Hmm. And it. Some of it may be just the fact that I'm trying to pu pug something at 1 and 2 in the morning, California time. Where the rest. Which means even later for the rest of the, the country. Yeah, mo the rest of the country is asleep. So I'm either dealing with European gamers who are just getting up and going for the day that just happen to have alts on these servers because they, a lot of them had alts here before the European servers came online. Or I need to do something else and I'm not sure what, but I'm not willing to sacrifice my work time <laughs> to go raid in uh -huh. the afternoon. I tried that. It didn't work out so well. And unfortunately, one of the problems I do have with how they've set the raids up is that there is a lot of FOMO and trying to keep up with the Joneses, not in equipment, though there is the equipment issue going on as well, but just in available time to be able to raid. Uh, for the equipment, part of the problem that's happening there is that, yeah, you can go into the raids at equipment six, 5 to 610, and that's the minimum you need to be generally able to clear. And that is bare minimum. You have to really know your rotation, you have to use your pots, you have to use your food. There is no excuse for it. <laughs> but <coughs> a lot of these runs are like, yeah, this is a practice run. We want for, as an example, one of the ones that had the other night, for Pandemonium 5 Savage. For a practice and possible clear run, prog to clear, they wanted a minimum of equipment of 620. Okay. The, the same night for Pandemonium 8S, someone was asking 610. Um, Gyoto is in the unenviable position right now that all the Panda 5S runs are wanting a minimum of 615. He has 614. Oh. So, this is just kind of compounding the fact, but this past week there's just been no one. I, <clears throat> I have spent several wasted hours just sitting around twiddling my thumbs waiting for our party to show because Gyodo has no crafting so it's not like he can put his crafting boots on or, or, or throw a fishing line out. Yep. Um, I can't jump into any uh, roulettes to buy time for Man. obvious reasons. So... I'm kind of sitting here and mulling over what my options are. I mean, I could hope it gets better, but unfortunately, I can only see it getting worse from here. 
Yeah. But that's it. Ready to do a fairy dungeon? Woohoo! Yes, please. Actually, hold on. What is chewing up my inventory? I don't know. What is chewing up your inventory? Uh, two triple triad cards and a kitchen shelf. Right. Now, for this place, we're fine. Let's go. Make another attempt on Route 3. Sure. I'll let you handle it this time. Okay. Uh, I do actually have it in my notes. It's just... Yeah, I was... Too tired to fumble that up in time. Well, let's see if we can get it this time. Yeah, still wondering if there's just a little bit more course for the what's it and just yeah, I have no idea sorry we should probably the review the entry before going in my bad no one thing I think we can do it while we're in there no we can't really meh I couldn't okay hello Octi good to see you and it's and, you know, we've reviewed it enough, I don't... I don't think they say anything about the Mer. They did say something at the very end, uh, once you do yeah. this light abrasure of Mer. Yeah. Or of incense. But we can't do that. Maybe it'll become available if we do it right. Right. Well, we're gonna find out. Ain't that well, right, Nanamo? I hope we will. We're going this way. We don't care what you want, little one. You're... Oh, she got the hint. Oh, <laughs> 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 well, let's see how fast we can roll these through. They did put in door locks, so it's not like we can... Yep, yep. I want to check something. Indeed, that does go back a bit, doesn't it? No, yeah, but there doesn't seem to be anything here. And this is definitely the end, according to the map. Uh, yeah, okay. And nothing with these fruits. No, not the only place we see them, either. But I wanted to check since it was on the map. Same with the other side. Yeah. Because they have fooled us on that before. Mm-hmm. Still like Shadow Bite being the alternate version of Sidewinder. Hmm. And think taking that out was a mistake. Or changing it. Yeah. But they have to do something to try and balance the game system. Oh, sure. Not sure if this was something that that in particular needed, needed to work on that. I'll be honest, I'm not looking forward to the incoming changes to the good. Yeah. It sounds like next expansion is going to change radically. Oh dear. So enjoy Dragoon while you still can. Yeah. 
My main problem with this particular change is the last thing Bird needed was another proc. I thought Bard was all about the proc. Yeah. Doesn't mean it needs more. Or are you missing Bow Mage? I'm. I'm missing, um. Guild Wars 2 longbows. <laughs> the one, if you were very good at aiming, you could actually, uh. Well, with. Well, the way it was in that one is with pretty much any weapon. You could technically hit things outside of the technical range. It's just with whatever you're doing it with, you're doing it all manually. As long as you're, you're willing to trigger the weapon manually, you could hit things outside of normal range. I'm afraid you got two of them. Yes. I I'm busy dealing with Mr. Smiley here. And of course, since the longbow had the longest range in the game, that meant that its manual trigger range was really phenomenal. Yeah, it was. I remember since you. I was picking things off on some of the distant platforms on one of, and some of the more far-flung area dungeon areas. Yeah, I, c I can make this a lot easier with just a little bit of patience. Yeah, it seemed like you almost had, like, half a zone of range if you could... Not zero. really. It, it, certainly not half a world zone. Certainly not. But... Inside a dungeon environment, my likely... Um, range... You know, the likely ranges I would need... Were not all that big in comparison to what I could manage. Okay. Everything's up and going. And this should be the two quarters at a time. Yep. Second barrels, you want to get out of there. Yeah, I'm working on it. I was in the animation walk. Ah, uh, you dragoon, you. Flip barrel. I felt so bad. I killed my poor brain leader last night. <laughs> What'd you do? Well, during Savage Carbuncle, there's a point where he drops poison puddles on everyone, and you have to kind of spread out in order to kill someone else with the poison. Well, one of our other raid members, who shall remain that day. Oh no. Decided he was in my spot, so I had to adjust. And the okay. only adjustment I could make was on the other side of where our raid leader, i.e. second tank, was. I didn't make it in time. Oh! <laughs> we actually had a good laugh out of it. Pushing. And while I have you here, have some box. Ooh, buffs, my favorite. Yeah. Hey, 
Chewy, please, not my favorite. Sorry. Not your fault. He's the one leaving. And we both have to stand there, so there's only one place it's gonna go. Uh, okay. Which ones came up first? Flipped barrel. Thank you. Yeah, I probably could have made that with my raid leader if I had actually jumped it, but I'm always so scared of doing my uh, jump back as Dragoon. Because the arena is Can't very imagine why. So tight. Yeah. And if you do one wrong thing, it's into the poison wall dead. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, and then this section is this crossbar. There's a door here, but it is completely inoperable. Mm -hmm. And there's nothing beyond the door. Yep. But I am double checking everything because... Okay, door on both sides. I really wish we had kitty cam. Ah, so do I! And we want to go to the right. Yes. Ah, uh, deceivers, diamonds. Where did I end up dumping those into my inventory? I do not know. Ah, there they are. Diamonds are forever in my inventory. Yes. Looks like you made press. <laughs> Excuse me. Nah, he's just been forgotten. Poor guy? No one likes to be forgotten. Yeah, they're all forgotten here. Greek father first. we can do this consistently. Yes. Like some of the, unlike some of the other things where we're kind of going, um, wait. <laughs> right, route two. Yeah, route two, we need to figure out how we get it to go the other direction. Um, yeah. Wait for Nanamo to catch up. Great. 
these guys. Weak Toy Central. Yes, it is. We'll have to come up with what we want to do tomorrow night. Uh, Talon is too sick. Yeah, he is very under the weather. Okay. I am not surprised, but yeah. Well, we can continue doing uh, working on this. Um, we can try a separate two-person run. Um, yeah, Action says he will be online tomorrow uh, because he's sleeping on oh. the couch. Okay. But I was like, in a good way. In a sort of good way. He apparently had lots of dental today. <laughs> so he's like, ah. but you know, not not sleeping on the couch because Dwight kicked him out of bed. No, 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 nothing like that. If anything, it okay. probably means the grandparents are over, mm. and so they're getting the bedroom type of thing. I will let you do this. My hands are off. I can't access it from in here, which is good because now I want to uh, take another look. Now I'm trying to remember which one it is. Uh, Silte survey record. Learn more of Mur. Okay, it is that. Leave the coffin untouched. Stand facing the Valori spirit. Form a single bow. Offer your respects for a life well lived. Celebrate the warrior's greatest victory. Kneel in a moment of reflection. Thus did the Amalgia mourn, comrades. Main thing is nothing saying, you know, like distance or anything like that. Yeah, the only other thing I could think of is that instead of facing that, is face one of the big torch brazers, but... Yeah, but it says stand facing the Valorious Spirit and... I don't think the torches count as that, and he is definitely inside it. That's where he comes out of in the uh, city. Yeah. Burning myrrh incense at the culmination of the ritual to guide their sanctified souls into the everlasting flame. And there's nothing there. Open that up just in case I need it in a hurry. So we're figuring slash bow. Bow once. Show respect. Slash V pose. Celebrate his victory. Slash. Neil. I still have nothing other than Link on the Myrrh. And those things are well outside of any place we're allowed to go. I don't know. Do I need to do it as well? I'm torn between having you do it as well and doing it like this and see if anything ha different happens at the end. The night is young. Yeah, which which way you want to do it first? Let me do it as well. See if that helps. I'm pulling out the macro. <laughs> Aha! What? Oh! You're performing the funerary? So I guess we both had to do it 
both properly. Hello! I should light the incense and say a prayer for the fallen. Another secret passage? Oh my goodness, and this isn't on the map! By the way, uh, I had the coffin selected. Okay. They said don't touch it! I didn't, but I just you saw probably it. had to select it. Yeah, well, I was worried that that counted as, you know... Oh my! Um... Um... Well, this will be a different boss battle. It's a war mammoth! Yes. Armed automaton. Oh, listen to that music. Thorn, Thorn Knight. Knight. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Thank you! Thank you for doing that. I don't know if it was the both of us or if you had to have it selected when doing I it right. I think it was... Eek. Whoa! Oh, wow! And we just got the mapping achievement. Yes. Which means there's no place we haven't seen in any of the other ones. So, two, we've seen all there is to see. We just need to figure out and how to get the And this is now on the map? Ah, indeed. <laughs> okay, we're ready to die to this. <laughs> oh, you have such great confidence. Confidence? Me? <laughs> you can take them. I, I believe in you. You can take them. All these mammoths and cannons and yeah, we're we're screwed. <laughs> Draw your weapon of choice and face me fair and square. Oh dear. Ah, who built this oversized mammoth? And why, oh why does it have all those emulgia limbs? <sighs> Puffs are up. Ow. Spring to life. Uh, cannons on one side and mammoths on the other. Ow. Ow, 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 ow. Your cane artillery falls silent, either expended. Thank you. How is that fair? <laughs> Tank Buster. Spring to life. It looks like cannons again. Cannons on one side, mammoths on the other, so you have to pick a square that will be in their either firing range. Right. Um Oh crap. The impossible choice. Will you taste steel or wither in flame? How about neither? So far you're giving me a hole. Forty seconds to do. Oh. oh. <laughs> the devious switch. A clever warrior fools the foe. Oh God! Um, there, it's so gonna flip. Aha! Turns, they switch sides! What a dirty trick! Ways of glory. This oh my debuff is gone. Maybe oh no. Oh god. Oh. Yeah, right here. Yep. 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 And it's going to switch it again. Yeah. Nope. Not quite. Close enough we could adjust. Yes! By the way, have bobs. Okay. Oh, 
Yeah, uh, 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 um, this isn't safe. Over here. Nope. You live. That's all that matters. And I only took one debuff from it. And behind him. Eh? Oh. This is going to be AoE. bet you anything this is number 12. Uh, and that is not a swap. Okay, center first. Yeah, over here and then to the center. Yep. This. Behind him, behind him! Quick, quick, quick! Ow. Ow. Nope. Heal me! Get yourself healed! <laughs> more! Heal more! That and that, okay, this is good. Have buffs. Did we? I expect you to do something positive with them. Oh, he's almost dead. <laughs> Secrets of Sylvan. Ha! Take that, you four armed hunk of automaton junk! You fought splendidly. I think we did. And the fact that we lived, there was no wipe. Yep. Um, okay, so this is kind of, this is walled off, and this is the way to get out of the arena. Yes. Let us see what it was guarding. Pot shirts. The more it was nice pot shirts. Oh. Uldan and Amalja banners hanging side by side. What have we stumbled into this time? Armor. Shield. Or banner. Yeah, yeah. This book appears to be a catalog of some kind. Oh, these items are all proof of the past alliance. What is this wedged in its pages? May the reader of this letter be our darling Nanamo. Aww. If this message is for me, then why leave it here? My parents had such faith that I would find it. Nay, it is the vault itself they wished for me to discover, and these priceless truths preserved within. Come, let us return to Old Awe, where I can thank you properly for your most invaluable escort. Uh, I will note that all the things on the west side are of Ulda make. All the things right. on the east side are a Malja make. Yes. But the banners alternate. Yes. Wow. Um. Not a moment. No, nope, not nothing. talkable. Okay, I think we're done We get here. no more out of her until we see her in Ulta. And maybe find that other gem. Oh, hi, Doodles! 
Yes, we've made progress! We've discovered a new yes! boss! Yes! And it is... Number 12. So now we need to figure out how to get at number 3. <laughs> we did in... all that and skipped one. In Parchment We Trust. Deep beneath Ulda, beyond the twisting tunnels of the Sildin Aqueducts, we have discovered a vault which slumbers, in which slumbers a precious legacy. In the center, a catalog of evidence emblazoned with the words, For coin, country, and comrades in arms, we bequeath this trust to the House of All. This solemn declaration, signed by the last Sultan of Thorn, was followed by several pages of florid signatures, a procession of Uldan rulers which ends with the name of my own father. And which there, betwixt one page and the next, a faded missive pinned in his distinctive hand. Addressed with the hope that the reader will be our darling Nanamo, the letter describes the purpose of the vault. Tis a place known only to the royal heirs, a secure archive wherein evidence of Uldan's alliance with the Amalja is preserved. And though tradition dictated this trust be passed on by word of mouth, father felt that, should worse come to worst, it was safer to have an explanation committed to parchment. Dearest Nanamo, we wonder what manner of woman you have become. We know the role of Sultana will challenge you in myriad ways, but no matter how your rule unfolds, remember that you shall ever be our greatest achievement. Seize what happiness you may each day, for joy is worth more than all the gil and old ah. Mother, father, be assured that tis not sorrow which causes these tears to fall, but overwhelming pride. Now, in this moment, I am simply happy to be your daughter. Aww. Yeah. And that, of course, should be her parents. Mm -hmm. Do you need me to come over there and deliver you Kleenex? Uh, I'll, be, I'll be fine. <laughs> Are you sure? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Nanamo could probably use a box. Uh. Uh, so now... They figure out the one we're missing. Somehow. Okay, which we believe means lots of trips into number two. Oh, but the reward is going to be so worth it. But the ah, fact that we can skip They're going one... to have a hard time. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, you know, it was the culmination of the third door. And it was really all in the third door. Okay, the first one is definitely the basic one for the first door. The second one, pride actually, and acceptance. Actually, no, the first one was what we got when we actually got the, um... Got it right? The Ewer. Okay. The second one is part of the Amalja. That's why we think the third one is part of it. In Thorn. Now hold on a second. Uh, one minute. Key I memory. Need to track some materia. Hmm. Key memory. I believe that's from the first one. And father's dead. Uh, that's from number three. Listen to Bear is also number three. Learn more of Murr, that's number three. Hold on, Sildit, that's a number two. Mm -hmm. Raising the Flags, also number two. My Mother's Eyes, that's a number one, I think. No, 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 that's a number two part of the clue for number one, but that's actually for number two. Yeah. Thorn Legacy, Silda, Aqueduct, Thorn, Vault, and that's also for number two. So one, two, 
three. There are four that we've found for Route 2, it looks like. Silky is one. Key memory is one. Hold on, spin, uh, send the bear. <coughs> I guess that's number two? Can't remember. <coughs> but by pure numbers, if you assume four for each path, that kind of implies we might be missing one from number one. Uh, what the heck we'd be missing, I don't know. Yeah. And I don't think there was anything we were missing in the vault. Or right, the third door, I'm I'm pretty sure we've gotten everything for that. Hmm. Well, wait. I guess we did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, we did both failure switches, the uh, wind and the stone. Mm -hmm. Well, let's go again. Um, I don't have gaming tomorrow morning. I'm going to go ahead and use a squadron spare binding manual. You do this thing. But why would you want to spirit bind a squadron? so sad for the squadron. They've effectively been abandoned now. I know. I like my Herpaderp squad. I like my team down in front. <laughs> I have Herpaderp, you have team down in front? I think so. Yeah, Kyoto has all scales all the time. Ah. Every single one is uh, a hey, um. Ara. Ara. Yeah, I've uh, never quite managed to get the full team of Lala's. I still have like one Rogaden in there. Questing has all Rogadens. Oh dear. It just ended up that way. Um, so we want to take the middle or the first? I think the middle. Let's keep going. Whoop. Ah! Choo. Um, <laughs> um, I, I figure at this point it's go through every variation we can manage until something gives which might be us. And we won't have to listen to her grouse about that first bridge. Yeah, well. Uh, I think Kahapu has all cure. Okay. That way she can boss them around. Ooh. Okay, then. And I think if I ever get back to Joji, she was actually working on an all Lala because she thinks they're adorable. These are just some funky fish. FF creatures, what do you want? Yeah, well. <clears throat> This should be completely blocked. Yep, nicely invisible. Yeah, unfortunately, I don't see... Now, there's no way to go forward short of the switch. Okay, this is the one where she crosses about the bridge. I was thinking that was number one.
as we go co quiet concentrating on the fight. Yeah, well. Uh, yeah, Mark is actually planning on going hiking with a coworker tomorrow. Good for him. Yeah. So, no, uh, no uh, board game bigger than uh, with a rule book bigger than my head tomorrow morning. I admire what the 1914 system is doing, but yikes! Uh, the combat system's a little. And now little we have much. a choice. Yes. Left okay. Or right. Uh, we did one of each last time. And there's always, at the very least, the alternate statue to pick on each, so pick one. Uh, let's go left. Okay. That said, our Sunday game is a much simpler one, which is what we try to do on Sundays, either something relatively simple or something we just know very well. Right. Which is why we play SFB on Sundays. Buster up. We're currently playing a game that's in a set that's been a, yeah, apparently a fairly first barrel, fairly good success for Compass Games on uh, War of uh, Austrian Succession. Mm. It looks like I've got it won. It looks like we will probably finish up on Sunday. Second barrel. So I don't suppose the Postal Palace is on fire yet. It hasn't been built yet. Ah! This is, uh, this is the mid 18th century, you know, 1740s. You're ruining my great joke! Yes, yes you are. Besides, that's a patch. Over here! Yes! This flip. Uh, for those that in the know, um, for a while, Kim and Cash were playing a lot. And squad leader uh, in a particular historical module called Testing Budapest, which is the siege of Budapest near the end of World War II. Okay. And one of the things on the map was the Postal Palace. Which is still there. Still in Budapest. And yeah, in like two different scenarios, it burned down. It became the running gag of, so is the Postal Palace on fire yet? <laughs> yeah. What's worse is we had three scenarios in there where fires broke out. Okay, this one. While you're here, have buffs. I know you want them. And time to get out of dodge. Yes! Time to dodge out of dodge. I know the bard version is pretty wimpy, but you do have the jump back to help you there. Is all that to do is put me in the corner. Oh, you kind of have to eat. takes you further away from him, right? Um... Or your target. And since he's the only target... Uh... Over here. Yeah, I don't remember how the barred one works. Uh, with Dragoon, you don't have... It doesn't... 
It's just jump back from wherever you're facing. Jump 10 yomes away from current target. Ew! That's less than useful. In this situation, yes. It just puts me deeper into the cone. I'm spoiled on Dragoon. <laughs> um, anyway, yeah, there was a third fire. Uh, the thing I realized at one point and it extended to uh -huh. things. Oh, okay, yeah. So why? Why? Well, at least that, that kills my theory. Which is good. I hated that theory. Which is that you had to... Somebody had to die during that uh, boss fight for this one to open. Yeah, this was if I hit the left on the, the wheel. Yeah, I but think. we did left last time and we ended up... I don't know... Let's see. This is... This is... That chamber looking around for anything special or unusual. Yeah. But anyway, I realized at one point in any advanced squad leader game where um, a fire broke out. I guess this is where we came in from? The fireplace? Yeah. We came in through the secret passage hidden in the fireplace. Okay. I hadn't realized that. But any time there was a fire, Patch had started it. Patch was going, that's a really disturbing realization. <laughs> hey, Patch is coming over! Hide the matches! to try something. No guarantees. Yeah, what's the doze off? A slash doze, but it didn't seem to work. Well, you weren't at the bed. I was on the bed. You were? Oh. Okay, so no place to jump from here. Yeah, not suitable. Interesting cabinet over here. Trying to put some of my jumping skills to use. You do this. Oh. Almost had that. that I can see. Okay, Nanamo. Let's the gate that way, and a barred gate that way. And the interesting thing is, you know, this technically goes places, so that's definitely a closed door at that end. Probably the same on this end, but I can't quite get the angle. Ah, we have another chamber here to explore once we... Uh... Yes, we do. Once we remove the vermin... Yes.
Okay, before going through. Yeah. Okay, we've got the sword. Two swords going this way. Mm. Interesting scale thingy here. Hmm. Of course, the broken banner. Over here with no shield. Mm. Also, I'll note that these are actually great swords. So it's not the uh, axe and shield that was on the pre other ones. Right. And they have a number of variations. These are the doors we'd come through on the other route. on ahead. Which means she thinks there's nothing else to explore here. Well, yeah, but of course she is wrong on occasion like the the ewer. Though she doesn't actually quite leave the room. And once she does, it's too late. And she just activated and went further. Ooh, sorry. Well, it means that there certainly isn't anything in that little corner. Because that's where she activated. Now the question is, is do we want to get this right or get this wrong? Well, personal spoils first. Yeah. Um... Ying, ying, ying. Now there's a question. Mm -hmm. On the other route, mm -hmm. which we did second, have we ever done that and gotten this wrong? I think so. We might want to try that at some point. For now, up to you. Uh, actually, let's go ahead and do this right and pick sword. Okay. So this would be helm, and this will be fruit. This Aetherite belongs in a museum. Okay, and another... Not seeing any weird doorway out cross.
Yeah. Okay, and you're going for Thal. Mm -hmm. But I don't think we ever got to this room going that route. Uh, no, because... I'll, um, oh, maybe, maybe so. That is quite possible. Get Look for unfamiliar mechs. Mm -hmm. I was not expecting a full on damage. Yeah. Ready? Buffs up. Great. Yellow, orange, orange. Yellow. Um, oh, that. Um, you're, you're good here. here. I am? Nope. I died! I thought that was correct. I was wrong. You no, it, it right. wasn't. And then he got me with the AOE. Yep, he sure did. Nailed you good. Meow. <laughs> Living five seconds longer than you isn't much of a moral victory. <laughs> okay. Go get him. He's all yours. I'll just stand back here. Um, outside the arena, maybe. I might be safe there. Gee, thanks for your support! Anytime. Buffs are up, such as they are. Guess I don't start with the main one this time. Orange. Orange.
orange, red. And here comes the hateful business again. Yeah. They go that way, that goes... This time you want in here. This time they're going away from it. And out of his... Oh, 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 thank you. While the hateful visage is unusual for us, it is one we've seen before, and I'm not seeing anything else new. to help finish him off. Maybe we did need to pick all. Maybe. We have lots of things left to try. I sense a lot of fights with this fellow in our team. Surprise. Yep. Probably not, then but, it's uh, probably bedtime. Yeah. 
No. One thing, we'll probably get the achievement when we get the last, or another achievement when we get the last one. What are we missing? It's the only thing I could think of is to go left and then pick uh, Null. There's a few things. Like I said, uh, my one of my thoughts is to go down the quote-unquote correct path, i.e. the one to the uh, treasure chamber, and then get the scales wrong. Because I'm not sure we've actually done the scales wrong since, like, the first time. No, we purposely did them wrong uh, a second time, but on the right on the other path. Okay. So there you go. So maybe that's it. Yeah, lots of possibilities left and we're gonna have to try and check them off one at a time. Yeah. Assuming we are on the note. correct path and that it is indeed in the middle one and not in the first. Yes. Which is also an annoying possibility. In any case, thank you all very much for joining us. Uh, we will be back tomorrow, though we're not quite sure what we're going to be doing tomorrow night, since uh, normally it's Palace of the Dead night. But Tay is very much under the weather, and we'd rather him mm -hmm. recover. Mm -hmm. We want our bun bun to be nice and healthy. <laughs> yes. With that said, it is Will Pass Riley's bedtime, so good night, be well, be safe, sleep well, we hope to see you tomorrow. Yeah, everyone have a good night and hope to see you again tomorrow.